salt you, I'll salt you, Francis. That'll make you feel better. Salted almonds are much better than the plain ones. <laughs> Francis, are you all right in there? <laughs> so quiet, it's so quiet. What are you thinking about? <laughs> <laughs> far too painful. I was separated at birth from my twin sister, Francis. <laughs> <laughs> we were abandoned in an unspecified Scandinavian country. My mother, a toy maker, who was melancholy by nature, sailed over shore to never return. My father, a toy maker, longed to follow her, and so he wrapped us in gift wrap packages and scouted us away ships, bound for America. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the pain of being gift wrapped at a young age? My first memory is of being opened. <laughs> my sister, Francis, was her name, was shipped to New Jersey and I to Illinois. To this day, I have been haunted, long and haunted by the memory of my lost, long twin sister, Francis. Oh my God, you look nothing like her. <laughs> so it is true. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Now it's too late. My sister has turned to an almond. I'm afraid so. How did this happen? Because the quiet was all she owned. She walked to an almond tree, under the branches, and lying there, <laughs> she turned into an almond. We have to get her back. Let me get to where almonds are. Do you climb a tree? Do you sail there? Let me think. Oh! There's a word um, in another language. It means to be so melancholy that you turn into an inanimate object. What's the word? I don't know. What's the language? A dead one, I think. <laughs> don't worry. We'll find her. Oh, Frank, I've missed you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 